Hey there. So are you thinking of maybe immigrating to Canada and going to school over here? Or are you already in the country and you're thinking about maybe going to post-secondary? Or maybe you already have your bachelor's degree and you've taken a few years off of school and you're thinking about if you should go to grad school or not. Well, all of you must be concerned about that important question of how you're going to finance your education. Many of you must have concerns about student debt and how you can avoid it. Well, I have some good news for you. It is in fact possible to avoid student debt while pursuing a post-secondary education in Canada. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do just that. Hey there, my name is Evelyn and I live in Canada. I have extensive experience with post-secondary education. I also have extensive experience with applying for and receiving scholarship funding. In this video, I'm going to go over three important tips for how you can apply to a scholarship funding and how you can receive it. All of the information in this video is based on my own personal experience and my many years of applying for opportunities. So if you wanna know how to avoid student debt, Keep watching this video to the end. So my first tip is do your research. Your research will fall under two categories. The first is traditional research and the second is non-traditional. So what do I mean by traditional research? Well, I just mean you need to sit in a chair at your computer with a good old piece of paper and a pen and you need to do some Google searching and write down what opportunities are available to you. So you can search for scholarship opportunities that are available nationwide. You can also look up what opportunities are available in the province that you live in. You can also see which scholarships are available at the school that you're applying to or the school that you're a member of. You can also see which opportunities are available in the program or the department that you are a member of or that you are planning to apply to. So write down all of the information, including what the scholarship is based on, what the components of the application are, what is required. You need to find out, do you need reference letters? Do you need a personal statement? You need to collect all of this information and organize it in a systematic way. In terms of non-traditional research, I mean, you need to go out there, you need to meet people and talk to people and be an active member of your student community. This is a great way for you to find out what scholarship opportunities or funding opportunities are available to you. Let me give you a personal example. During the early years of my graduate career, I attended a club day, and my intention wasn't to find scholarship opportunities, but I ended up talking to someone who ran a club, and they told me about a funding opportunity that was extremely generous. Funding was actually available to students every single year, and this was actually really exciting because the department that I was a member of didn't actually have a lot of funding for this type of activity that I was interested in. Um, but on the other hand, this club had ample funding. So the funny thing was, this funding opportunity was not advertised anywhere online. In fact, in order to know about it, you had to, first of all, know about the club, and you had to be a member of the club, which really just meant emailing them and then getting on their mailing list. So based on that experience, I strongly encourage you, my viewers, to get out there, keep your eyes open, keep your ears open, talk to people, socialize or network, um, because you never know what opportunities are going to become available to you. Now, in addition to Googling which opportunities are available to you, you could also do some research on what types of opportunities people in your program or people that you admire in the academic world receive. 
So for example, if you are applying to a specific program and you know which school you want to go to, you could take a look at maybe some of the bios of some of the other students, if that's posted online. Uh, you'll find that some students are very generous with what kind of information they share about themselves online, either on Academia EDU or on department websites. So you can actually uh, look at other CVs or look at people's profiles and see what scholarships they've applied to and received, and you can do the same. So my second important tip is know your deadlines. So in addition to doing the research and finding out what scholarships are available, you have to know when the applications are due. You're going to find that some scholarships might be due a couple months from now, some might be due half a year from now or a year from now, but you might also find that there's scholarships that you can only apply to if you're in your third or your fourth year or later years in your program. So the people that get scholarships are the people who know what the deadlines are and plan accordingly and um, give themselves lots of time to get their application materials together. So make sure you know what the deadlines are and write it out. I suggest maybe writing it on a big piece of paper and sticking it on your wall so it's always in your mind uh, and so you never forget uh, when the application is due because there's nothing worse than realizing, oh no, I forgot to send in that application. So my third and final tip is deceptively simple. My third tip is apply. So you might be thinking, well, isn't that obvious? Of course I'm going to apply. Um, well, the fact is, sometimes people don't end up applying to scholarships. So let me give you a personal example. One year I applied for a scholarship uh, and I was really, really nervous. I wasn't really convinced that my application was that strong, um, but I ended up following through and getting my application together and submitting it to my department. And as I was submitting my application, I actually ran into a few people who were also going to apply for the scholarship. And I just very casually said, hey, how did the application process go? And they actually told me that all three of them didn't end up applying for the scholarship because the semester just got too busy and they had papers due. They just didn't manage to um, get everything together. So I was completely shocked because to me, this scholarship was extremely useful, extremely um, important, and actually crucial. So I was kind of shocked that some people didn't apply because of some essays being due. Uh, long story short, I ended up getting the scholarship. So I was actually the only person who applied for the scholarship that year, and I got it. So the moral of the story is um, it's not enough to kind of want the scholarship and kind of plan to get the scholarship. You need to uh, complete the, the application and you need to follow through and actually apply because you never know what's going to happen. So even if you think your application isn't that strong or you're just not really sure, you think there might be better applicants, the fact is some people aren't going to apply because they're going to let that fear hold them back and they're not going to follow through. Sometimes it's true, you know, life gets in the way and we can't uh, submit things uh, before the deadline. So there is a chance that you can get that scholarship that you thought you had no chance of receiving. You just have to apply. So there you have it. There are three essential tips for how you can apply for scholarship funding and how you can receive it. I hope you found this information useful. If you enjoyed watching this video, please don't forget to hit the like button. And if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. So to those of you who are applying to scholarships for the first time, and to those of you who have been at it for a few years, I encourage you all to keep at it and to keep applying and never give up. Stay positive. 
because you never know what the outcome is going to be. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.